Hi guys, welcome to London Deco Travel with Andre. Here is another episode of The Difference. I've been a coach driver. I don't have a video saying The Difference. I've been a London bus driver. Don't know, get a picture of a London bus driver, of a bus driver or of a bus in London. Hello and welcome to another YouTube video. So today I really want to talk about this difference of being a coach driver and a bus driver. Why am I doing it? It's because a lot of bus drivers are asking me questions and relations to why have you gone back to the coaches, Andre? And some of you are asking, I might consider of actually being a coach driver in the year 2022 or in the next year or so. So your questions will be answered today, ladies and gents. And this person had asked me and uh, it's a shout out to him. And thank you very much for getting in contact. Um, but yeah, no, seriously, being a coach driver, ladies and gents, it's much well better. But I'm going to give you my reasons because um, I was a bus driver myself in London since the year 2018 and then I stopped in 2020, 2019. Um, and then I went to the coaches and then I came back to the buses during the pandemic and then found out it wasn't really my go-to job. Didn't really enjoy it. So here I am, back again. So with the buses, ladies and gents, you are doing a lot of long shifts. Why are you doing a lot of long shifts? It's because they're shorted of bus drivers. Yes, that, that is correct. They are shorted of bus drivers. And the numbers are going to keep increasing and keep uprising because there ain't enough drivers coming into the industry and who may not have licenses. And, you know, it's just trying to find the correct people of doing the job. I spoke to many passengers whilst I was driving the buses and I asked them individually whilst I was at bus stops and I just asked them, do you ever consider being a bus driver? And the majority of most Londoners had said no about a good 70% of passengers on my bus or at bus stop shelters said no. I said, then why? I said, it's just it's a big, big red bus. Uh, some of them, it's too, too congested. Uh, it's too busy. Uh, I don't know how you guys do it. Get, you get abused, get uh, shouted at. And all those comments that they mentioned, ladies and gents, they are 100% right. They are 100% right, ladies and gents. But we're the coaches. The hours are long. Right, but guaranteed, I'm not going up and down from Elephant and Castle to Brixton. I'm not going up through uh, London Victoria to Roehampton. I'm not going up and down from South Croydon to Beckenham Junction, for example. I'm not going to Kingston, going to Richmond, or so many different rounders, or so much trips to do in 12 hours to do a trip. This is why I come to the private hire sector. The private hire on the coaches is so much better. Okay, yes, we're doing our express work. The hours is long. But I'm on their EU hour rules, driving hour rules, which I will drive up to 4 hours and 30 minutes and then take a legal break of 45. The buses. You guys are on a domestic hour rules here in London or in the UK or wherever you are in Europe or EU. Uh, no, here, it's only here in the UK, so it, it's the UK domestic hours, sorry. Uh, so it's only here for uh, England drivers, London drivers. And um, yeah, so basically, uh, you will drive for five hours and 30 minutes or driving, and you take it of a minimum break of 40 minutes. How is that not enough? <sighs> it's ridiculous. It's absurd. Okay, see where I'm getting at, guys. Um, another thing as well with the... Uh, buses ladies and gents that the fact that I found difficulty is that um, that majority of most buses and most fleets they are so old and uh, they need repairing they need replenishing they will need maintaining they will need a refurb they don't get refurbed guys they don't they really don't and I don't like coming up the garage first in the morning with a broken bus it's so frustrating and irritating knowing that you've got a broken down bus and a bus is not capable of doing more than 12 rounders. Um, so, um, yeah, so I do my walk around check. I check everything. I check the glass. I check the ramp. I check everything. If I find a defect, I report it. Um, bus companies don't like bus drivers losing mileage. Don't know why, why is that. But any little bit of um, mechanical lost mileage, they'll try and push the driver to stay on the road and not come up to the garage. Yeah, it's true, guys. If you're not bus drivers, this is the reality. And I told you, I will be releasing the truth. 
But um, I will, will be revealing more later on why I've left um, over the next during course over the next coming months here in 2022 in another part of the episode of 2, 3 and 4 on This Is It. Uh, episode 1 had been released last year in December of the reasons why I've left. And uh, here I am on the coaches. And I've seen a lot of you guys on the road as bus drivers. So, um, so yeah. The Another thing as well, the difficulty of being a bus driver, gate, ladies and gents, is that toilet facilities, it's a lack of toilet facilities on the bus if there ain't no toilets. So for bus drivers to go toilet, they will need to find a stop off probably at the petrol station, train stations, uh, McDonald's, Tesco, retail stores, and good to go to Funaloo. We are sent our cabs uncomfortable with so much rounders and have five minutes stand time at the stand. Five minutes we get London, ladies and gents. That's all. At the bus stand. Many years ago, they used to get 20 minutes. Now we get five. <laughs> yeah? It's, 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 it's absurd. It's crazy. Um, so, yeah. Um, another thing as well is that the radio that in a cab that we have as bus drivers, that kept going off every probably two to three minutes. Where was the coach driver? I got nothing. I got no noise, whatever. Just me, tire, roar, and that's it, the wind. That's the way I like it to drive. But uh, driving a bus in London, ladies and gents, and you've got a lot of noise, it does cause a lot of problems. The difference of being a bus driver and a coach driver is, is that uh, a coach driver you'd be respected more with a bus driver. No, you don't. Passengers, for example, I'm a coach driver and um, people will say thank you. People will acknowledge you. People will do anything to appreciate and give you tips and uh, say, say, oh, you've been amazing and great complimentary. Bus drivers in London, right? 85% of passengers will complain, 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 complain consistently. Only 15% of bus drivers will get uh, a complimentary from the passengers or from uh, mystery travellers, which I hate. Um, and they will just uh, and, uh, and, um, give those drivers a good, good score. Whereas the coaches, 95% passengers will say thank you and that five percent will actually write it in only one percent of passenger or passengers will complain probably will complain about the braking or accelerating or whether i didn't communicate effectively but i never got a complaint never got a complaint and i'll always make sure i always address to my passengers say good morning good evening and give out data and make sure they feel comfortable. That is my job. And I love my job and make sure I stick by it. And I follow it by my role and responsibility at all times. Very important. So this morning, um, I'm down here at the farm uh, with my clients. Pick them up from London and uh, drop them off at the uh, Buster Asian Farm, which is just down on the A3 from Petersfield. Uh, we're not too far from London, it's about an hour and ten minute drive, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, guys, um, I loved what I do. And the difference of being a bus driver and coach driver is that you get more leeway. You're on your own, you are treated as a professional driver. Whereas a bus driver, you like you're treated like a prisoner. You're treated like as if, yeah, this is your fault. This is your, this is what you should be doing. No, you can't turn left on a diversion you can't do your own diversion whereas coach driver you will make your own radical decision you make sure you do it right if you do it wrong you will follow the consequences i will follow with you guys later on this year of the tech and the spec and a walk around check of the vehicle what kit we've got that like our clock and what we've got inside the vehicle so please 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 have a look out for that um so uh, you guys will have a look out for that as well um but yeah so, that's it, guys. Um, if you've got any other questions in relation to this today's YouTube video, then please don't forget to like, comment, share, and share with all your friends and family. 
Uh, it's been an honour being a bus driver, ladies and gents. And will I go back to the buses? Nope. Will I stay as a coach driver? Yes. But why would I not go back? I will share with you that information in another episode of This Is It, which will probably be episode 2 or 3 or 4. And you guys will know the reasons why I will not be going back. Here, it's too much fun. Too much relaxation. And that's what I need. I don't need to be stressed at work. I need to have fun. Which I'm about to have fun in a minute by watching a movie and playing games. That's what I should be doing. And that's what each one of you should be doing. Whatever jobs you or aspirations you have for the year 2022. Never too late. Never say never. Pursue it. Make it happen. You can do it if you believe in it. So don't doubt. Don't believe in everybody else. And don't tell people your plans and ideas. Because uh, they could hinder your plans and ideas. And uh, yeah. Anyway, my name is Andre. Thank you for watching London Deco Trouble with Andre. And I'll see you guys next time in another YouTube video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share with all your friends and family. And thank you for watching in this episode of the difference of being a bus driver and a coach driver. I'm sure I miss things out. But anyway, I'm sure you guys get to know the difference. And I will be doing a day in the life as a coach driver, guys. That's coming soon. Maybe possibility of POV as well. Hmm. Subscribe. Bye.